Okay, I just wanted to talk briefly about transduction for the sense of smell. So signal transduction for the sense of smell begins with the binding of an odorant molecule, okay, because each molecule of odorant has some kind of molecular shape, okay. Um, so you have this odorant molecule that binds to an odorant receptor on the membrane of the cell, okay. So it binds to, the, binds to some receptor on the membrane of the cell. And this binding essentially leads to a conformational change in the ion channel that is associated with the receptor. So there's a channel associated with the receptor. When the odorant molecule binds to the receptor, the, a conformational change is induced. It opens or closes the channel. In this case, we're talking about opening a channel, but in other cases, you might be talking about a different form of transduction where you close the channel. So anyway, the odorant molecule binds to the receptor. It's associated with the channel. The channel opens up, and ions can now flow through the channel. Okay, so the conformational change in the ion channel that is associated with the receptor and thus a change in permeability. So ions can flow now into, into the channel, okay? And um, this allows the movement of ions, which creates a change in membrane potential. Remember, everything we're talking about in neurobiology in terms of um, converting things, transduction, we're talking about the conversion of information from some sense, such as this odorant molecule, to something the brain can interpret, some change in membrane potential, okay? And that sends the signal directly to the brain in the case of odor. So the signal sent directly to the brain and says, I'm smelling oranges, I'm smelling lemons, I'm smelling whatever, okay? And uh, this basically describes a typical chemical sense. So a typical chemical sense is associated with a ligand-gated ion channel, essentially. This ligand-gated ion channel, um, you know, uh, the binding of a ligand changes the conformation, opens the channel.